What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Papa Jobo. Today, we're going to talk about uh, joining the Pandaverse again. I specifically want to talk about all the craziness that's surrounding it. This thing's on TV. It's on everywhere on the internet. It's on all social media platforms. Everyone's talking about it. Specifically, uh, they're talking about either their side or their side or the side over here or someone sees it this way or someone sees it that way. And it's interesting because I think what you've got is you've got the far left and then you've got normal people. And, and most of the far left sees this as an exposition on uh, fans being rude to people and the reaction to that. And they see it through the, the voice of Cartman in this. There is about 10% of the show that's like that. But then 90% of the rest of it is about, you know, ripping Disney and woke Hollywood to shreds and really pointing out how ridiculous it is to see all this woke stuff in it. And, and again, um, woke means Marxism. That's what it means. And for those of you who don't understand why it means that, I, I've got a lot of questions about this and a lot of comments. I want you to just go and read Robin Mark Phillips' book, Saints and Scoundrels, Chapter 17 specifically. It's called The Quiet Revolution of Cultural Marxism. Even if you don't like me and you don't like anything I'm saying, if you want to know why I think that, well, just go read it. Like I myself, I've read Engels, I've read Marx, I've read Gramsci, tons of Gramsci. I know all about them. I don't like them. I understand where they come from because I've read about them. I read things and watch things I don't like. Speaking of which, watching things I don't like, I actually went out and watched a whole bunch of videos on this. And a lot of the people on the far left are saying that, uh, you know, that vehicle for Cartman was to show how stupid fans are. And, and they really called us a ton of names. I'm not saying people from the normal crowd didn't, but there wasn't a lot of that. The, the first thing you saw in a lot of these videos was people just tearing people down. I don't know. I, I know we're all going to call people names in our life. I'm not judging people on that. That's going to happen no matter who you are. But when everything you have to argue is based upon calling someone a name, you've lost the fight. You've lost the narrative. Um, one of the things that a lot of people rallied around, though, was that, and, and really from any side, both sides, whatever you want to call it, was this notion that uh, Parker and Stone make fun of everybody. And because of that, it's great. It's a good thing. It brings us together. And I'm here to tell you, I don't agree with that at all. I don't believe in that at all. And I was shocked to hear a few of my favorite YouTubers actually say that. That isn't a good thing. And let me tell you why. When I was looking at all these videos. I love to read the comments. Comments are sometimes better than the video themselves. I'm scrolling down these, you know, hundreds of, of comments on a big YouTuber's channel. And I find one that says um, something really simple. They were speaking about Parker and Stone and they were talking about them in the context of Gen X because they're from Gen X. And they said, people from Gen X uh, think it's cool to not have any strong beliefs. And to not pick a side. And that isn't the case. I couldn't agree with that anymore. It was a comment that had no thumbs up, no replies, but it was dead on. One of those comments that just dies, you know, in the annals of all the comments that people make. But that thing should have been pinned. That was exactly what needed to be said. It's not good to not have a side. Although I will argue this point for Stone and Parker. They've, you know, their, their franchise is worth a billion dollars, so they're doing something right. And I'm a capitalist, so good on them. Maybe what they're doing is right in terms of capitalism, but I don't think it's right in terms of actually trying to fight this culture war. I know that, I know that strangely enough, they're actually trying to bring people together in some of this and try to be like, hey, maybe say sorry to each other. It's crazy to see Parker and Stone doing that, by the way. They never did that in earlier episodes, but they're doing it here. I, I think it's, for me though, I can't just sit by and watch this Marxist woke nonsense happen. Again, go read Robin Mark Phillips. And there's tons of people out there who talk about why woke equals Marxism. It's not just me. Go go read it. Um, having said all that, I want to know what you, what you have to say and what you think. I'm going to tell you right now, if you leave comments that are nasty and rude and you tell me to go die in a fire or whatever, I'm just going to delete them. I don't care about my algorithm enough. I understand that this channel is probably never going to blow up. And I, that's fine. I come to terms with that. If I can just reach a few people out there and get them to just think, I'm not even telling you to come to my side. I'm just telling you to think, think for yourself, and which I've actually done. I've gotten some emails from a few of you. You know who you are. It's awesome to see that. If I can just help a few people to wake up to the world a little bit through entertainment, cool. I'm happy with that. But if you're going to leave those kind of comments, I'll straight up just delete them. If you have a civil response, and want to debate me? Cool, man. I'm open for that. Go read some of my other comment sections. I get involved in that stuff. I like it. But if it's just blatant, I want to rip you to shreds, yeah, I'm not going to deal with that anymore. For those of you who have supported me, welcome me back um, on my three-month hiatus. Can't thank you enough. You guys are awesome. 
um, please hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, notification bell. And, you know, even though I don't think this channel is going to blow up, maybe it will. You can help me out with that. I'd really appreciate it. Tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe.